investment in digital transformation programs has been ballooning. Over the past two years, we've had $3 trillion of investment being made in that area. But more importantly, over the next two years, $8.3 trillion is going to be spent in advancing those digital transformation programs. And just to be clear, that represents 65% of the world economy delivered through digital services. So the question that I'd like to pose today is, what is the role of self-service and automation in this new digital age? And what are the critical capabilities that organizations need to build out to support this incoming tsunami? Let's have a look. Hi, my name is Kay Van Shernia. I head the managed service visit at Fusion, where we help organizations gain the critical capabilities they need to advance their digital transformation programs. Today, I want to highlight five critical capabilities that we feel organizations need to build out in order to support their customers in this new digital age and be able to provide services and offerings in a digital way that are easy to consume. But before we go there, let me just explain why I think this is a really important area to focus on. As organizations digitize their services and offer them to their customers, they need to build up their service delivery operations and billing functions to enable customers consume these services easily, quickly, and efficiently. The smoother the journey is, the better the experience is, the easier it is to buy and consume the services, will dramatically increase chances of gaining new customers, retaining existing ones, and the ability to expand and upsell to them. And clearly, self-service plays a pivotal role in providing that scalable shopping window, offering great customer experience. To help organizations build their critical capabilities, fulfilling this automated self-service function, we are recommending focusing on these five capabilities. The first one on the list is an obvious one, but a difficult thing to achieve, and that's to understand your customers' requirements and needs. Customer journeys aren't simple and linear, but a series of handoffs between traditional and digital channels that can vary significantly by customer type. To excel at customer experience, an effective strategy requires an in-depth understanding of what customers truly want. And we believe the only way to achieve this quickly and accurately and without guesswork is through the use of AI to look at all of the data and gain insights as to the kind of services customers are looking for, what their experiences are like, and how they feel about the service. If you want to know more about how AI capabilities such as deep neural network, machine learning algorithms, natural language processing can help to understand customer journeys, have a look at the link below to a video that we've done previously. It will provide you with a lot of information in that area. Okay, number two, understand your customer's preferred consumption channels. Traditional customer engagement channels are not really well suited to the digital business. They typically rely on human intervention, which means that they are error prone, they're slow, and they do not scale. So consider building a service catalog, which is accessible through self-service portal, or a customer's preferred consumption channel. What you put in the service catalog is also really important. Our studies show that at least 75% of the kind of things that the customers want need to be represented in that service catalog. Otherwise, they are left stranded not knowing how to engage with your organization and how to consume the particular services that they're after. But this is only one step. There is no point in building an all-encompassing service catalog if the actual fulfillment are all done manually. You might as well stop now and don't proceed. Automation is a fundamental enabler in delivering a great customer experience coupled with a self-service mechanism. And that is a thing that we're going to cover in the next item. Number three, adopt an automation platform. Historically, organizations have been poor at adopting a strategy for automation that caters for all their needs. There are lots of reasons for that. Let's take a quick look at them. 
Automation technologies can be divided into these four categories. This is very much a case of using the right technology to solve automation problems. But it is also worth pointing out that the further to the right you go, the more process re-engineering you have to do, thereby increasing costs and delaying the delivery of automation. That is why robotic process automation, or RPA, is being used extensively to automate self-service request fulfillments. It's a killer! Now to number four. Create an automation culture through citizen developers. For automation to be adopted across the enterprise, the following three things need to be in place. Let's take a look. The automation platform must be based on a low-code, no-code basis, so staff with a wider range of skills can easily use it to automate mundane tasks. The senior IT executives need to promote innovation and automation in departments or silos. Automation and its benefits must be aimed at solving real business problems, thereby increasing value and adoption. Finally, number five, benchmark, measure, and react. Market opportunities, customer preferences, competition, they will all be evolving at the same time. So it is vital to be able to have a continuous optimization program, benchmarking customer journeys, benchmarking their preferences and their engagement with you, and be able to improve that journey for them is absolute must have. And we feel that AI analysis is a vital part of that continuous optimization program. In summary, to support this new digital economy, businesses have to dramatically improve the way they engage with customers and fulfill their needs. And to achieve that, they need to invest in automated self-service platforms. Do that, do that well, and you're the winner of this new economy. If you're after more information, please leave a comment below or contact me. We also have a white paper that you can download using the link below. And don't forget, if you want more information on this topic and these areas, click on the subscribe button. Go on.